Hey everyone and welcome back. Today we're exploring Mozart AI, a platform designed to be your ultimate AI co-producer. Mozart AI's core mission is to enhance human creativity by eliminating technical friction. Those tedious, time-consuming tasks that stifle your creative flow. And getting started is easy with these four unique and intuitive workflows, where you can generate each loop from scratch, upload an audio loop to build upon, describe an entire song which is then stemmed out, or even upload a song for a full remix in your own style. These four workflows transform Mozart AI into a musician-centric experience, aiming to make your music production faster and smarter. Now let's dive into these four powerful starting points. First up, we have the layers starting point, and we're starting off with a strong one and my personal favorite. This workflow is all about creating cohesive loops using prompts. Imagine you have a basic idea and you want to quickly build out a track that fits together perfectly. Instead of endlessly searching through sample packs or manually trying different elements, layers let you use prompts to generate musical elements that are designed to complement each other. It's a fantastic way to bring an idea to life, as if you're working with session musicians as a producer in a studio would. So first, let's set our key, BPM, and duration in bars. Now we can begin describing the first loop we want. I want something along the lines of dark trap guitar melody. Then we hit enter and it goes to work bringing our prompt to life. Once generated, we can actually test between two different samples. This could be really cool. Let's test out option B. Very different vibes here, two very different vibes. I think this one will be easier to build off of though, so I'll try out this one. Now that we've set the tone with our first loop, we can continue building off of that by adding more layers. We'll hit add loop, and this time we want something like a violin top line melody. Which from there, there's no need to reset or change the different keys or BPMs, it remembers what the original one was, so it's a seamless process by just adding different layers that you know will work together perfectly. That's something different. But it's a little bit too much in the forefront, so I can back down that volume a little bit. Let's add a bass line. Okay. And finally, let's add some drums. Yeah. Oh, that's really good. Okay, cool. What else can we add here? Let's just try hitting random suggestions, see what happens. For all those times you feel like it's missing just a little extra something, you can hit that button there and get some suggestions. Very light in the background, it might work. Maybe not in conjunction with everything else, maybe for different parts of the track, like a verse maybe. So I'm loving all the loops that we've created so far, so now I can hit continue to DAW, where it will then bring in all the different stems that we have, and you can start arranging it out however you desire. Very different there, I actually kinda like that contrast. Still feels like I could use something in this section right here. We can also have Mozart generate some MIDI for us too. So let's go with something light in the background. We will stretch out our duration right there to eight bars. We'll go on over to settings, choose the poly synth and use the melody synth preset. We'll try that out. And from settings on over to track agent, we can describe the melody that we want. Dark piano melody. And right, we are ready to hear our melody. I want to change up some of the notes there. Cool. All right. I'm noticing here too that a lot of the hits on the piano, we just, I did alter them a little bit, but for the most part, the melody is actually following somewhat to the top line violin melody. So when asking Mozart to generate audio or MIDI, it will reference the other melodies and drums in your track, making it a smooth process to add anything that you want. Next, we can add some effects to our loops too. Let's add some delay and reverb to our guitar melody. Okay, cool. Sounding way more spacious now. Also, the violin could really use some reverb. Oh yeah. And there's so much more I could add to this track so easily. I want to add some percussion, risers, transition effects, but for the sake of this video, we're going to move on. Sticking with the layer workflow, we can also include one of our own samples to kick things off. I'll upload this loop here. And Mozart will automatically detect the key and BPM for us, so we can start adding more layers from there. We're making something very different right now. Oh, it's so different. Like nothing that I would make on my own. Truly. I have no idea what I'm creating right now. <laughs> 
That was beautiful. All right, so that's one way to use this feature, but if you have a loop that you feel like is missing something, but you're not quite sure how to finish it, you can upload it and work with Mozart to finish the track. Next, we have the vocals workflow. This is a much more robust system designed to streamline your vocal production, where you can record new audio directly into Mozart or upload existing vocals. Mozart can convert that audio into a full song and even allow you to edit it with resulting stems. Now, I won't be doing any singing today because nobody wants that, but I can start off by applying this vocal loop I have. We are surrounded by fake people and lies. Oh yeah, you need to understand this to be wise. Now these are some seriously raw vocals here, so I'll just be using them as reference. Where now we can describe a style or add context, and Mozart will generate a complete song around these vocals. So let's try an upbeat emotional pop song and see what happens. Okay, now let's hear what we've got. The whole world is a disguise. <laughs> We've made so many tracks using Mozart AI, but every single time it just never ceases to amaze me. Let's test out option B. Very different. I am liking this one so much. Oh yeah, you need to understand this to be wise. But now taking it a step further, we can split these stems and pull them into a project to work on. Right, so here we are inside of our project now with the different stems. Like these backing vocals sound so beautiful. Mm, man. Let's talk about one of the most powerful features in Mozart AI. We can change a section of the audio that we have with the improvise feature. Let's take this section of our instrumental here. We'll improvise by saying we want a different melody as a bridge. Which also a good time to mention over here, you can see in the context over here, it took the melody that I was replacing into account that can be a seamless transition. There we go. Really nice. Moving on to our third workflow, Describe. This one is for when you have a high-level vision and want to jump straight into a fully finished track, complete with editable stems all from a single prompt. Imagine telling Mozart to create a cinematic track with atmospheric pads and deep bass, and watching it fully come to life. It's all about translating your creative idea into a finished product. This gives you an incredible starting point where you can then sculpt it and personalize it and make it uniquely your own. Alright, so I have something here of a modern electronic pop song with high energy, festival vibes, and use of synths, guitars, and heavy bass. Right, and here's the result of our prompt. Ooh, immediately. <laughs> Hands up, feel the neon sky. Heartbeat sink to the baseline Counting down, we're almost there Pulses rising everywhere Bass crash, take It's just higher. solid. Right, let's try out the other option over here. Hands up, we're reaching higher Hearts beat to the neon fire Baselines shaking to the nice. Which from there, of course, if you want to sample the song that you just generated, all you have to do is hit get started, where you can then begin the splitting process. And finally, we have the remix workflow, which was specifically tailored for DJs and remix artists. This is a game changer for anyone who loves to deconstruct and reimagine existing songs. With the remix, you can upload an existing track, specify a new style that you want to apply, and receive separated, editable stems, with vocals, bass, drums, and melodies all neatly isolated. For example, you can upload a pop song and prompt Mozart to remix this as a deep house track. It's a powerful starting point that dramatically accelerates the preparation for remixes. And here, you can remix it in a similar style or do something completely different. In fact, let's turn into an alternative rock song. All right, let's see what we've got now. I was waiting by the phone. Don't? Mm, okay. I felt so all alone. Didn't want to face the world without you. So I think from the very limited prompt that I gave it, it did a very good job changing not only the genre, but just creating a whole new song 
from the reference track that we gave it. We can also split the stems here too, allowing you to put your own personal spin on the track. From here, you can use any of the features we talked about here today. Use improv to change a section of the track, generate new elements, or add some effects to fill out more space. So there you have it, Mozart's four workflow starting points that make life as a producer a lot easier. These features are designed as workflow accelerators aimed at speeding up the tedious process of traditional music production. They're built to assist you in orchestrating and producing a track to completion, all from your direction. So whether you want to strategically build out a track, add to your vocals, generate a finished product, or remix your favorite songs, Mozart AI has you every step of the way. But what do you think of these workflows? Let us know in the comments down below, and we'll see you next time.